The new meme coin Pepe has gone up over 10,000% in just a few weeks. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we can find the next meme coin that has the same potential as Pepe to go up over 10,000%. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video as I'll be discussing some very important details. Let's now go over and explain exactly how you can find the next massive meme coin. Of course, this is not financial advice, but this is exactly how people found out about Pepe coin right before it had that massive explosion. So we actually go over to the website called Dex Screener. Dex Screener uses all these different decentralized exchanges as Pepe has been, has been listed on Binance, but it was not initially listed on Binance and a lot of these massive exchanges. You could have only bought it through decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap or PancakeSwap in this instance. So when we begin, we come over to Dex Screener. I'll show you exactly how we can find these meme coins. We then go over to the Ethereum on this left-hand side. As you would know, Pepe was listed on the Ethereum blockchain. So we click over to Ethereum and we're now highlighting all DEXs. As I explained before, you can trade using Uniswap, SushiSwap, Balancer, PancakeSwap, and a lot of other different exchanges. But these are decentralized exchanges, unlike Binance, unlike Coinbase, and even unlike BitGet, as I was showing you here. So right now, once you're on this page, you, you'll be able to see every single meme coin that is available. If I scroll all the way to the bottom quickly, it will show you exactly how many meme coins are here. There's over 5,000 480 different meme coins that are available to buy. And obviously you can keep going through and going by page by page, showing over a hundred different meme coins on every single page. Once we've clicked on Ethereum and we've come over to this page, you then wanna come over to FDV. You wanna click it once and you'll now be seeing that these coins are listed from highest market cap to lowest market cap. Market cap means this $17 billion number means there's $17 billion totally invested into that coin. And you'll be able to see that Pepe coin will be one of the top ones. Right here, we actually see Pepe coin. And if we come over to the right, you can see that it has roughly $700 million market cap, which means the total amount of dollars invested right now into Pepe coin is $700 million. So it has a massive market cap, even though it started at just a $500,000 market cap. One thing I quickly want to explain about market cap, if as Pepe started, it started out as an initial $500,000 market cap. Now, when that $500,000 market cap actually goes to $5 million market cap, that's a 10 times increase in the market cap, which also correlates to an exact 10 times increase in the price. So when it started out at $500,000 market cap, and it got up to that $500 million market cap, that right there is a 1,000 times return on your money, as going from 500,000 to 500 million is over 1,000 times on your money. So that's how market cap works. If this coin right here was to double, wrapped ether was to double in price, it would also have to double its market cap. So we would need another $6 billion invested into wrapped ether, for that price to then double also. If this Pepe coin right now was to double in price, let's say it's exactly at 700 million, it would need to go up to $1.4 billion invested for that price to double. The next thing I wanna show you is liquidity. So right now you can see the total amount of liquidity over on Pepe is eight or $9 million. So that $9 million means the total amount of orders that are sitting in the market that you can actually buy from. So $10 million is not a large amount of liquidity. If you wanted to come in and buy a large amount of Pepe, you really wouldn't be able to. Say these institutional investors had $100 million that they just wanted to come into Pepe and absolutely pound its price to really skyrocket it. They would not be able to purchase $100 million because there's only $10 million worth of liquidity right now which means that's the total sell orders that people are leaving on the market. They've got, they've got their Pepe coin in their wallet and they've put that as orders on the exchange to say, we'll sell at this price, we'll sell at this price, we'll sell at this price. There's only $10 million total of that selling or buying available. So 
you need to also understand that liquidity plays a very important part because if we've got this coin that has $700 million market cap and only $10 million of liquidity, it shows that price can easily get affected and also you're not able to buy a lot at the right price that you're looking for. Next, let's go over and click on FDV. If you click it again, you're now going from the smallest market cap. So right now you can see that this coin right here, and I'm absolutely not recommending it. S Kitten Virgin Gambling, absolute crap coin. You can see that the total market cap right now is $3,700. So absolutely tiny, tiny volume. And again, just to explain, if this was to double in price, it would need to double its market cap. So you'd need another $4,000 invested for this price to actually double. And that's how it works. When I'm looking for these meme coins, what I like to look for is at least a $500,000 market cap. You can see in this area here, right here, this SCAT, and again, not recommending any of these coins, but a $500,000 market cap is where we begin to actually say, okay, this coin has got a little bit of traction. A lot of these coins are rug pulls and you will lose all of your money. So I'm not recommending you invest in any of these coins, but it has a lot more potential going down to this $500,000 market cap between $500,000 and $10 million is really the sweet spot because these tiny coins right here, a lot of the times are rug pulls or even they call them money pot, honey pots where you invest your money and there's no selling available. So you, the contract allows you to buy but the contract then does not allow you to sell. So say you buy $1,000 worth, now you only have those coins and you go to sell and you don't have the availability to sell. Reason being is it's being coded into the contract that you're not able to sell the coins after you buy them. And that's why you need to be super, super careful with a lot of these coins. And I will never recommend one of these coins to you because it just is not worth it for you or for me. So when I am looking, I like to look at between the $500,000 market cap to down to this $10 million market cap. The reason I like that so much is as I explained before, if we start to go to these massive market caps going in the hundreds of millions of dollars, I don't see it worth it because right here, again, let's see LimeWire token. If we were to get a double in price as right now, LimeWire token is 26 cents. If that price was to double, you'd need this market cap to double. So you'd need another $250 million pumped into that coin before it's able to double in price. And again, I just don't see that this coin is going to have that potential where you're going to get another $250 million. Whereas when you're looking at these coins at around that $1 million mark, that would be a perfect number. As as soon as a large amount of institutional investors are trying to come in and buy this coin, then that 1 million can easily go to 10 million. And again, one to 10 is a 10 times return. And it would also mean that the price goes up 10 times. So you would make 10 X on your money. So you need to be careful and not go too, too high in terms of market cap, but also not too, too low. And you definitely need to do your research. Let's now click on Pepe and you're able to see a lot of this population comes up. So you're able to scroll back and you're able to see the initial chart on the 15th of April when it was when the price actually began at 0, 0.000. It was basically zero. You can see that on that right, right over here on this right hand side, it began right there at zero, zero, tiniest number with a three at the end. And it ended up going up to over 4,000. So again, that over 1,000 X return. Looking at these numbers here, you can see the exact price. You can see the price in e in W ETH. You can see the liquidity. You can see the total market cap. Again, see how these numbers are exactly the same. FDV market cap. You're able to see the five minute, the one hour, the six hour, and the 24 hour percentage change. So over the last 24 hours, Pepe coin is down 1%. You're also able to see down here the latest transactions. As it's four o'clock in the afternoon right now, you're able to see a lot of these transactions, sells, buys, sells, buys, and it tells you exactly the amount of how much W ETH is being bought. So right now, ETH is at $1,800 per coin. So right now people are coming in and you can see this USD price. Someone came in and just bought $16,000 worth of Pepe coin. They also bought another $4,000 worth of Pepe coin. You can even see the transaction. You can click on this transaction number, follow the different buyers, follow the different sellers. You can have a look at their wallets and see how they're trading these coins. Then you can even see through here, someone sold $22,000 worth of Pepe coin. Again, 
it was 12 W ETH because when you're trading these coins, you're going to need W ETH in your wallet to actually buy. And then when you're selling back out, it's going to sell back out as W ETH. Again, not recommending any of these coins for you to get into, but just showing you exactly how it works, shows you the price, shows you the price, shows you the latest time. So you can actually track a lot of these transactions. You can even see over the last 24 hours, there's been 1000 buyers, there's been 800 sellers, the total buy volume matches the total sell volume. So total buy and sales have been $2.6 million worth. And you can see the total number of buyers was 900 different buyers. And the total number of sellers was 700 total sellers, which it can give you a bit of a notice as there's more buying individual wallets coming in than there is selling individual wallets. Again, the total transactions, sells to buyers, but these are the actual individual buyers. There was a total of 900 different buyers coming in and 681 different sellers. So you see the total volume 5.2, which was double the sell. There was total of 2.6 in buyers. So that obviously has to match at 2.6 in sales. And there was a total of 1800 transactions. So looking at these numbers, you definitely want to use this to be able to decipher, is this coin even any good? Is it a honeypot? Am I going to get scammed? Am I going to get rug pulled? You need to take these all into account. Let's just quickly look at a coin that fits between that range that I'm looking at between 500,000 to $10 million. So let's just scroll down and we'll pick magic bag right here. It's just a random coin. Again, not recommending it. And here it even says this pair has been created within the last 24 hours. Make sure you fully understand the risks associated with trading newly created coins so you need to understand here, you can come over exactly like trading view, you can change it to the one hour, you can change it to the 15 minute. You're even able to see just in this last day, this coin done a massive 6,000% return to the upside. And then it's already down from the top to the bottom. If you were to buy in this area, it's already went down over 50%. And that's why these coins are extremely volatile. Again, not recommending it as I'm not sure this coin is even a honeypot. It could be only buyers. You can see a lot of buyers coming in and maybe only the people that have created the coin are able to sell. So you need to be, you need to be careful. You need to also, that's why I like these numbers, you need to make sure there is some liquidity available. The total market cap is 800,000 and one quarter of that is liquidity, which is a better number. You want to see those type of numbers where at least 10, 20% of the total market cap is available to buy and sell because some of these scams won't allow that. So need to make sure, but this is how you do it. You go back, then you just go back to Dex Screener, go back to Ethereum, go back on here and find the next one. Click on Greg, have a look. What's the 24 hour volume? You can see we're down in the last 24 hours, 60%. How many transactions are coming through? The buyers, the sellers, the total number of buyers, the total number of sellers. See, even this coin had a massive run up, massive, massive run up doesn't give me a percentage, but that would be roughly a thousand X. So you'd make about 10,000% just in this coin. But then look, if you're not able to sell quickly enough, bam, all the way to the downside, we're down from 7,000 to 1,000, down close to 70% would be somewhere around 60 to 70% in just one day on the 15th of May it launched. Today's the 17th. It launched, did a massive 10,000 X to the upside. A lot of people gold out, got out, sold their positions, a lot of the people that created their coins are actually selling to you as you're buying and then bang, you get a massive decline. So you definitely need to be careful, but this is exactly how you do it. This is how people found the original meme coin Pepe. They started on this deck screener. They went to Ethereum, they were scrolling through. And again, the reason Pepe did so well is because it's associated with so many memes on Twitch. If you watch a lot of Twitch and Pepe is everywhere, it's one of the massive emotes on Reddit. It's everywhere. Matt Furry was the creator. He has even some Bitcoin NFTs available where you can go on the Bitcoin blockchain and actually buy different NFTs associated with Pepe. So it's got such a large amount of people behind it. I hope you enjoyed the video on how you can find the next Pepe coin meme coin in crypto to make those massive returns. Again, none of this is financial advice and I'm not recommending any of these coins, but this is exactly how people were trading Pepe originally to be able to make these huge returns. I'll see you in the next video.